back on land on the sea sand. Watch this. And I saw a beast where the water in the vision was rippling. The angel of Ahia, when I was on the, the ship, says that the beast is coming out of the sea. And we saw the water rippling. And we know it was coming. It was rippling going inland. Hallelujah. Are you hearing the vision, brothers and sisters? And I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon the ho having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Of course, it's going to have blasphemy because the people were worshiping this thing. Because the announcer, who's the announcer? The announcer is the false prophet. Let's find what the what, let's find what the Bible says about the false prophet, the announcer, isn't it? Because he's the one who got the people to go in line, telling the people this great man is coming out of. We didn't call him beast, obviously, but this wonderful man is coming out of the sea. And when he comes, you should worship him because the way how he described the beast is as if he's a higher. You know, people go blindsided and deceived and delusional. So watch this. Let's, let's, let me see if I can quickly find what the Bible says about the wicked, dirty, false prophet. Um, okay. Um, and they worship the dragon and gave power to the beast, unto the beast. Right, I'm just looking for the bit that's with the, because the Bible says that the, um, Hold on, brothers and sisters. I need to find it. Hold on. Yes, brothers and sisters. But watch this. I'm going to quickly jump to verse 7. Verse 7 says, And it was given unto him. Watch this. Thank you, Lord. Vision is true, isn't it? Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. Vision that I've just given you is true. Matches Revelation 13. Watch this. Bible says, Revelation 13, verse 7. Watch this. The Bible says, And it was given unto him. Who is him? The beast. We're talking about the beast. It was given unto the beast to make war with the saints and to what? And to overcome them. And power was given unto him over kindred, tongue, tongues, and, and nations. In the vision, I told you that I was telling the people to run away because the Holy Spirit is not here. They, you cannot rebuke the Antichrist. You cannot stand and say, the blood of, you call him Jesus, the blood of Jesus is against you, Antichrist. Uh, the, it's not going to work. Like, you have no power like that anymore. That's why you have to run away. That's why I was telling the people, get off the seashore. Run, go, hide. Don't bother to rebuke and think that you're strong and mighty and you've got the power of the Holy Ghost. No, by that time, no Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Haya is taken. Why? Because the Bible tells you, the Bible says that, 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 um, that, 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 that the beast power was given unto him to make war with the saints. Not only to make war with him, but to overcome them. Bible. How can Satan overcome a child of the Most High? Oh. Bible tells you. Go read it. Go study, study Revelation 13 verse 7. At the time when the Antichrist is ruling, you cannot rebuke him. You, 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 yeah. Like, Holy Spirit is not here. Right? So, you have to go into hiding. You cannot stay in your homes. You, you just got to run away. All right? So, Power was given to overcome the saints. And watch this. And power was given also to the beast to have dominion over every single human being on planet earth. So, when this begins to happen, don't think you can challenge the, the Antichrist. Because let me tell you something. That's why Ahaya, come on now church. Hallelujah. Can you see how... Can you see, can you see how the vision lines up with the Bible? Revelation 12 tells you that Ahaya, watch this, Ahaya hid the woman from the face of the serpent. Let me repeat that one more time. Ahaya hid the woman from the face of the serpent. So in the vision, Ahaya said to me, I am not going to show you the beast, because it's terrible. 
and I didn't see it. I heard it coming. I heard the Antichrist coming. I could hear the water. And I knew when he, I knew when he stepped on the land because the whole earth shook. And those people was overwhelmed. They were overpowered. I tell you. You have to make sure you make it in the second Exodus. Babel's truth. The woman flee into the wilderness. But angels of Ahia is going to be on them ships with us. It's real. It's coming. Been preaching about not preaching. Been prophesying about this thing since 2016 when I didn't really understand those wilderness <laughs> vision. You know, Ahia gave me loads of wilderness vision. Didn't understand it. But now you grow in understanding that I can come to the body of Christ confidently and tell you that this thing that they're preaching about Jesus coming any minute now, raptures any day now, any minute now, tomorrow, in the next ten, no, no, it's wrong, 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 wrong. Second Exodus, second Exodus coming first, then you can look forward to the rapture. Antichrist is coming. After the second exodus, Antichrist is going to be given power. So quickly, what time is it? I want to quickly do this. Hallelujah. So we know that the Antichrist is going to have power over the saints. Because the Bible tells you. But when it says have power over the saints, that's for the physical. That's what the Bible, don't get it wrong. Don't think that the Antichrist is going to come and we're just going to bow down. No, 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 no. When it says that power will be given to the Antichrist over the saints to kill them that's the physical because men will be beheaded bible tells you john says i saw the head of the saints beheaded many millions because not everybody will make it on the second exodus we know that so physically Satan will kill the flesh. But when it comes to the inner man, come on, our church. When it comes to the soul, we will not heal to the devil. This can kill us, chop our heads off, everything. Bible says that, John says that, I saw the head of many beheaded for what? For the testimony of Yesiah. Why? Because in those days, the children, the true children of Ahia will stand up for the truth. They know the Antichrist, they know the 666, they know the beast system, they know, they know. And they're not going to worship the Antichrist. So, what's going to happen? Yes, he will kill you if you're left behind. You have to come out of the city, you have to hide. You cannot stay. You cannot rebuke the Antichrist either. With a, you can't do it. Because power is given unto him. But quickly, let's, I wanted to read the false prophet. Because the false prophet in the vision, the announcer, that's the false prophet, right? The Bible says, and I, this is verse 11, Revelation 13, verse 11. Bible says, and I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. Where was the announcing coming from? This announcer were telling the people, form an orderly line and all of that. And, and it will basically tell the people, when you, you know, when this good man come out of the sea, he will spare your life. Everything will be okay. And it was just sweet talking to people. But I didn't see him either. I just hear his voice. And behold, another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake like a dragon. Looks innocent, isn't it? But his words are wicked. It's telling the people to bow down and worship the good man coming out of the coming out of the sea. But the angel already told us that the beast is going in land. That's the Antichrist. But the wicked, dirty, false prophet is telling the people to worship this entity. Watch this. And he exerciseth all power of the first beast before him. Right, because he was sending. The minions to go and make sure that the people form a hard line in the vision. And that's why the woman pulled me into the line. Because I was the one that was shouting. You need to break up your folly ground. Don't form no hard line. Run away. Go and hide. 
so the lady didn't want me to get killed because she saw the demonic soldiers coming. So she put me in the line and said, shh. And I'm like, no, no, because I, I, I know what's going on. I know exactly what was going on and I'm not going to shush. Uh, you know, I'm going to speak so that people can hear. And luckily I did that because some of the people left the line. They did. Not everybody, but you know, some left because they heard my voice. And they went away with their families and hide. But watch this. So that's the power that the announcer, which is the false prophet, is the announcer, right? Telling the people to worship the good man coming out of the, the sea, which is the beast. Um, and he had power because he was telling the soldiers what to do. And he exercised the power of the first beast before him and caused it the earth that and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the beast hallelujah <laughs> vision plain a higher look listen a higher is making this vision as plain as possible so that people will wake up like literally wake up brothers and sisters do you hear what i'm saying baba tells you baba says watch this Bible says that the false prophet causes the earth, the earth, you know, and them which dwell therein to what? To worship the first beast. That's a beast coming out of the sea. That's the announcer, which is a false prophet telling the people how wonderful this man coming out of the seas. And if you don't worship him, what's going to happen to you? Putting the fear of hell in these people, right? And worship, where am I? I've lost it now. Yes, and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And you can read the rest of Revelation. All right, because I wasn't there for him to do the wonders, the lying signs and wonders. A higher take me out and the vision ended. So I, so I know that while we are in the wilderness, this dirty false prophet will be there doing signs, miracles and wonders. That is the reason why you see Nelly did a video concerning the good old Nelly, the rapper. That's the reason why you saw Nelly, right? With his eyes flickering and turning over and carrying on silly that's a possession of an entity a fake spirit you see how Nelly was smiling wake up the, 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 this listen I don't think people understand what's what's gonna happen or what is to come can you look around in 2023 and everything the breeze is blowing beautifully you can jump in your car you can take your kids to school you still can go to your wicked churches you still can go to the supermarket you can go on your holidays go on go on the beach everything is beautiful but that is about to change i told you this world will look like the book of Eli, that type of post-apocalyptic wicked dirty world you have to make sure your heart is with a higher and like I say, did a video yesterday concerning Nelly. You need to watch that video. Because what you're witnessing is a fake, fake, fake demonic Holy Spirit that enter into Nelly. Fake Holy Spirit. Demonic Spirit. But the way how it enters, and you notice sometimes with demons, when people are getting demonic oppression or, um, not oppression, the, um, um, possessed the twitch the the, the axillary the scream and also nelly didn't do that mm -mm, mm -mm. yes his eyes flickered back but watch the smile and he was underneath a purple light as well uh, they love purple ain't it? these people a purple represent royalty this is all mockery it's very deep brothers and sisters but the vision is true vision match matches the bible matches the word of Ahia. the woman in revelation 12 is a church the woman in revelation 12 represents a church a true true church not the fake false phony church that they've got all oh, yeah, the true believers of Ahia. hallelujah 
and the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. But the one and the same, you can't really separate them. So the church is basically those who have grafted in into Yashahel. That's why you can't really, when I talk about the woman, you can't separate the Hebrew Yashahelites, which is the 12 stars on the woman's head. And the woman, because we know that the woman represents the church. Because there's two women in Revelation. One, Revelation 12, righteous woman. And Revelation 17, the wicked whoring woman. Both represent the church. Righteous church and wicked church. Which one are you? Because to make it into the wilderness, you have to be found worthy. You have to be obedient. Walk in the light of a higher pays to serve a higher but when these things begin to happen brothers and sisters if you don't make it on that them ships and those boats listen <clears throat> it's all coming i'm going to do another video after this concerning what's going on um with the boats because a higher is moving and he's moving fast because we need to get out of babylon like it's time that's the reason why you notice i put the hashtag now on it is on we are near i've got another hashtag say it is time because it is time i have to leave all right right so if you come to the end of the video these are the top 20 beautiful beautiful beloved i need a powerful video that i did concerning the good old nelly the demonic possession of nelly and i talk about that in the watch a video all right audi wheeler paulette allen stacy and small Judah, goddess of war for the most time. No, yes. Judah. Judah, yeah. Goddess of war for the most high God. Um, and the cut off, sweetheart. Mm, it just cuts off there, yeah? But that's you, beautiful Judah. All right. Glory to your name, Lord. Diane Ratigan. Honeybee, 198. Shakira Henry. Hallelujah to his name. Glory be to your name, Lord. Blue Lily. Mary Christiansen. Renita Miller. And you know what? Some of these brothers and sisters' name that I'm doing the top 20. Some of them. I think, I hope it's hard, but I'm just saying some because I don't know everything. But some of them I will see you on, the, on those ships. Or we will see each other in the wilderness. You're going to know me because uh, you know my name and everything. So you just come up to me and say, Sister Karen, it's me, Renita. You always call out my name. Or Sister Karen, it's me, Mary Christiansen. So we're going to know. Hallelujah. We're going to know each other. All right. So uh, Rita Khan Khan Digi. Let me just stop here because I know some of you are listening to me now. You're thinking, oh, well, Sister Karen, you haven't called out my name in the top 20. So that don't mean, that doesn't, does that mean I'm not going to go to the wilderness? No does not mean that at all no 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 so what so it's only 20 people on the ships <laughs> come on nah no nah. it's just that obviously some you know, these brothers and sisters are really quick on the phone so just make it into the top 20 so just because i don't call your name out it doesn't mean that i don't know your names because i'm in the comment section and some of you i do know your names all right if you, even if you don't make it in the top 20 you're so um you're always here with me. So I know your names and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. I will meet many, 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 many. Them ships are going to be full. From the Caribbean to Babylon, UK to Babylon, US. All right. Them ships are going to be full with the Hebrew, Yashelites, and the true children of the Most High. All right. Okay. Um, Rita Kan Kan DJ. Right. Um, blessed Queen. Emiya, such a lady, 0456. Jada Green, 3PPL. KC, KC, Wellington. Germained. And Nick Chin, Erie. Ernest Carter, Patience. Omo, Shanna, Fisher, Marcel, Lopez, Gage, in his glory, 
purple posh all right and those are the top 20 beautiful beloved in the most that i had underneath yeah this guy's video that i did this one <laughs> oh good old nelly <laughs> look at him what is wrong with this kid eh needs to repent eh right hallelujah we don't follow these people you follow them you're not going to make it into second exodus trust me yeah i'm going to be here for the antichrist and you don't want to do that all right if you come to the end of the video you have not accepted Yesiah as lord and savior please please say the sinner's prayer <coughs> sorry brothers and sisters <coughs> i'm just getting over um what do you call it me me uh, me hoarseness right Dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah have died on the cross of my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahia has raised you from the dead. I know <clears throat> with confidence, <clears throat> I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahia. Yesiah, King of Glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahia, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, you believe it with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38 where the Bible talks about repentance. You've done that. You now need to find a true man of the most uh, higher. Ask him to fully baptize in water, fully dunk in water. When you go down in water, it's spiritual transformation. You're saying that Yesiah, you believe and you know in your heart that Yesiah died on the cross and you believe in the torment of sin. When the man of the most high raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life. You're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's beautiful resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with um, Enoch. Um, let me say that again. I'm thinking about my vision. It says, let's do that one more time. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Enoch, just walk with a higher just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job or praises or beautiful praises to so the most uh, higher who lives above the heavens higher eternally bless you I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory in Yesiah's holy name amen and amen let's say the benediction benediction is Jude chapter 1 Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the Bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise, Messiah, hallelujah, our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings.